Sorry about that. I was just looking at the uh, recent announcements for uh, Nintendo Direct that a lot of cool stuff uh, have been announced. I'm not going to talk about everything that they, that they announced, but there's a few things that I do want to mention. Alright, so to get started. A title that seems really interesting to me is uh, Samurai Warriors 5, which is coming to the Switch in, I believe it said, uh, June? That seems cool. I think that's carrying on, if I'm not mistaken, that's carrying on the uh, Dynasty Warriors um, series. Another one I'm really interested in is Monster Hunter Rise. We've already known about this one. They've been speaking about it, but they uh, showed it in, uh, in the Nintendo Direct. Uh, it's coming out uh, next month. This one's going to be super fun to play if you've already played um, Monster Hunter Generations, even Ultimate, or if you've played um, Monster Hunter World. I feel like Monster Hunter Rise is going to be a really great game. I think it might just be for the Switch. I'm not certain. I, I downloaded the demo because I'm like, Monster Hunter Rise is one of those games that I really am looking forward to. So, so that was a cool one that they announced. There's also going to be Tales from Borderlands. I'm not a huge Borderlands fan, but for the Borderlands fans out there, that's going to be pretty cool. Here's one that I'm really excited about is it's already on the uh, online uh, Nintendo eShop, but we've got Capcom Arcade Stadium. Now I think uh, this is already released, like I said. Uh, I think this is going to be, uh, they're going to be adding games as we go. So this is going to be a, fr this is a free downloadable game. It's retro Capcom games from the 80s, which is fantastic, the old arcade games. The first one that they have on there right now is a shooting game, which is uh, 1943. That's one that's, oh man, I cannot wait to, 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 to download that for free and, and go back and play some old Capcom arcade games. That's going to be really, really fun. For the Zombies fans out there, we've got Plants vs. Zombies, Battle for Neighborville, the complete edition, which is coming to the, which is coming to the Switch in, I believe, um, March. And again, in March, you also have Stubbs the Zombie, which is being re-released, uh, Stubbs the Zombie Rebel Without a Pulse. So for the zombie fans out there, it's always going to be fun. I know a lot of uh, people wanted to see Stubbs, Stubbs the Zombie be redone and come to the Switch. So again, in collections, there's also the Ninja Gaiden collection that's coming. That I'm looking forward to. Ninja, Ninja Gaiden, really difficult set of games, but always super fun to play. Okay, so let's get into this big, big announcement. Okay, Animal Crossing, there's no denying that, you know, New Horizons was a seminal game of 2020. Now, depending on how, when I upload this video, it may already be up, so it's February 25th, and if this has come up past the 25th, well, it's already there. Animal Crossing is doing a, um, an update to, to their game. It's a free update, and once the update is done, you're going to get some uh, cool Mario um, items. So that's going to be pretty interesting. Uh, go ahead and do that update for all you Mario fans playing uh, Animal Crossing. And get yourself some uh, stuff. No More Heroes 3 is coming. So finally, Travis will be back. We had the first two, I believe, on the Wii. I'm not sure if there was any on the Wii U, actually. I never, I never played the Wii U, so don't get mad at me if I don't remember that. But yes, No More Heroes 3 is coming, so that's going to be really fun to see how that is going to play out. I mean, I, I played the first No More Heroes. That was such a fun game. So yeah, No More Heroes 3, man, I'm stuttering, guys, is going to be definitely worth checking out. For all you uh, Legend of Zelda fans out there, uh, they also announced Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity is going to get um, an expansion pass to add more storyline and battles to the game. So we're getting add-ons for the game, which is really awesome. And continuing into um, Zelda, they announced that the um, Skyward Sword is going to get an HD remaster on the Switch. Uh, that's going to be coming in July of 2016, so if you guys already played it on the Wii U, uh, this is going to be, uh, or for, it was the Wii or the Wii U, I'm not certain. Uh, um, I, I'm not a fan of Zelda fans. I don't play the Zelda fans. Again, don't get mad at me. But uh, yes, Skyward Sword will be uh, uh, remastered for the Switch coming July 16th. As well, uh, they are going to have matching themed Joy-Cons for uh, Skyward Sword. So that's really cool. I know my, uh, my really good friend, uh, my really close friend, Andres, who owns uh, Omnibus, is a huge uh, Zelda fan. So, there you go, Andres, if you're interested in that, that's definitely going to be uh, something uh, to check out. And for, for, you know, you gotta have girls games, you gotta have some fun games for girls to play as well. I mean, not everything has to be aimed towards guys. DC Superhero Girls Teen Power is coming. Uh, I'm not too certain, uh, actually, I missed it when uh, Direct uh, showed that, but I, I know that's gonna be one of the bigger ones, so... I'm fairly certain it's gonna be a platformer, but it's gonna take the DC Superhero Girls cartoon show, and it's gonna be a uh, game for the Switch, so yeah. I mean, that's one, as, even if you're, honestly, even if you're not a girl and you're just like DC in general, and you're a fan of the DC, um... Superhero Girl line coming out in June of uh, this summer. That's, so that's pretty cool. 
still riding on their popularity off there all these years, especially with The Mandalorian. Star Wars Hunters was announced as well. I believe Star Wars Hunters is a fighting game. Uh, you're going to be using different characters, if I'm not mistaken, like um, bounty hunters and Jedis. And I think it's an online game where you can uh, fight each other in real time. Uh, they just released like a 30 second trailer of the game, so it could be very cool. I mean, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, so I, I'm not going to lie to you, I'm, I'm pretty pumped about Star Wars Hunters coming out. That's coming out... Um, I don't think there's an exact release date. It's just that it's coming out sometime this year. They're not completely certain yet. My money's on either summer or, you know, towards, you know, the holiday season. But yeah, no, Star Wars Hunters, it looks like it's going to be really freaking awesome. The one trailer that I really, really love that I can't wait for this game to come out. It's coming out in May, uh, May 21st, if I'm not mistaken. Knockout City. When I first, when the trailer first started playing, I, I, I seriously thought that it was either, you know, something for Overwatch or, or maybe Fortnite. <laughs> I was super wrong. Knockout City is an extreme dodgeball arena, like MMO arena dodgeball game. It looks so fun. The characters look cool. Uh, honestly, I'm I'm really pumped for, the, for, for Knockout City. Like I said, it looks like something like, you know, Fortnite or, or Overwatch, but dodgeball. I, um, May 21st, I cannot wait for this game to come out. Uh, this might be one of the games, uh, the big games uh, coming this year, I think. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to that. I'm going to talk about three more things. Getting, getting stuff out of the way slowly. Okay. You guys know me. I'm a massive, massive Smash Bros. fan. You saw my video of the gameplay. I love that game. It's the one game that I love to play non-stop on the Switch. I don't know how many hours I've played that game. And just like they do every Direct, a new character, new DLC character was announced. I just got Sephiroth for the game. I, okay, I've yet to use him. Oh, but I can't wait to use Sephiroth. I know he's going to be so good. But that, that's not what I'm talking about here. Now they announced Pyrrha and Mithra. I apologize if I'm, not, if I'm saying that incorrectly. From Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I do I have not played any of the Xenoblade care, um, games. They will be coming as, as new DLC characters for Smash Ultimate in March. It's a nice uh, fresh, breath of fresh air to not see somebody from Fire Emblem again. So, I mean, Xenoblade Chronicles, again, like I said, I've never played it. This is a huge fan favorite game. But yeah, Pyrrha and Mithra will be coming. So if you're if you already have the pass, then you'll be getting them. If you don't have the pass and you're you love the Xenoblade uh, games, go ahead and um, get the money. I think they're. I'm not sure if it's going to be two separate or if they're going to be together like Steve from Minecraft with uh, his. Uh, but yeah, so they're coming in March. I'm debating which one I want to keep safe for last. Uh, you know, okay, I'll, I'll go with this one before last. So the massive announcements, the two big announcements. You had you have Splatoon three that's coming. Splatoon three, obviously you have Splatoon and Splatoon two. I, I have actually never got a chance to play Splatoon. I, um, I've seen friends play it, and I've always seen the characters. The characters look really cool. But the game itself kind of gave me a headache when I was watching friends play. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes the Splatoon characters are really fun to use in Smash Bros. They're annoying as hell in Mario Kart. Although, it's true that if, if the, the ink splats your screen, then you get to use your knowledge of how good you are at racing but anyways Splatoon 3 is coming uh, that's a big fan favorite so uh, my thoughts on that is uh, yeah I mean obviously if a series works with Nintendo they're gonna keep making well not just Nintendo in general every every console if, if the um, if if the series works out in a whole clearly they're gonna make multiple games so honestly Splatoon 3 is not I, I didn't think it was gonna come this soon but I Obviously, uh, honestly, I, I knew that Splatoon 3 was coming, so that's going to be pretty cool to see for the guys, for you guys who are fans of Splatoon. It's coming next year in 2022. I had to end this, uh, everything that I found out from Nintendo Direct on a high note. Mario Golf Super Rush. Guys, it's Mario. <laughs> it's Mario, guys. <laughs> Mario games are always really fun. Whether it's the core Mario series, the Paper Mario series, the Mario Kart, when he's joining Super Smash Bros. The Mario Golf games are even really fun, so um, even the Mario Tennis were really fun. 
So to see Mario Kart um, Super Rush come, it's coming June 25th this year. It's going to be a fun golf game. I mean, uh, my, my thoughts on that is that honestly, it's 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 going to be it's it's, it's going to be fun. It's going to do really well. It's going I think it's going to sell out. Like not sell out right away, but I mean like it's going to be one of the top trending and one of the top selling games for the Switch upon its release. Um, you know what's really funny? Uh, we're talking about all this Nintendo Direct stuff. I actually got a package from my My Nintendo. Let's go ahead and open this up. I'm also saying this a little late in, in the video, but let's get to... Boomers Hall, yeah! Before I bag this, there's something I, I want to show you guys. Uh, a friend of mine named Gabby gave me this a couple months ago. I love it. She, she wanted to keep it, but I got really sad and she ended up sneaking it in, in, a, in my bag. So, got myself a little Yoshi here. That's pretty cool to have. Alright, let's unbag this shit from my, my Nintendo! I am not going to be Blanca because it's just an envelope. So, story is, I had um, about 800 points. And you, if you have a my Nintendo account, you get free stuff from their shop when you redeem your points. For Christmas, I got uh, Vanessa a bunch of Paper Mario, the Origami King uh, postcards. Which she still doesn't know where to put them, but she liked them because she thought they were cute. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, so I had about uh, 750, 800 points, and I ordered two things from the uh, from the My Nintendo. Um, kind of dated maybe at this point, but I had it lying around. I was like, shit, I forgot to open this. Let's get it open. Cha! 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 One take. <laughs> Can't do this in one take. First things first, from um, Paper Mario, the Origami King. What we have here are, um, I'm gonna open this up. I believe these are origami papers. You just make some origami with this. I've never made origami once in my life. Will I try to with these? Maybe, I don't know, but I'm just gonna show you guys what these look like. So here is the, um, well, I guess that's the uh, protective slip, which is kind of cool. I'll probably stick that up somewhere. Origami papers. Got some toads right there. So we got two of the green. Sure, there's a couple of the green, if I'm not mistaken. I think there's four of each color. Yeah, purple, kind of nice, uh, and then red. And last but not least, blue. Them's be the origami papers I got for with my points. I know it's one of the stupider things to redeem, but I hey, it's Nintendo, Nintendo. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and get some of their merchandise, of course. And uh, the last thing in here. Really cool notepad uh, from the game. Again, as I mentioned it before, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Really nice looking cover. I'm gonna get it out so you show you guys what it looks like. Oh, wow. <laughs> I see it the first time too. The cover is embossed, it's really nice. I don't know, like you, you see the texturing, it's really nice. But uh, on the inside, it's just um, all papers like that that have Hyrule at the top and at the bottom of the logo. So it's basically what it is. I got these with my points from uh, from my Nintendo. Those are the two things I got from my Nintendo. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think of these things from my uh, from the Nintendo shop. Hey, if you guys have a Nintendo account, also let me know what you guys are ordering with your for, uh, for, uh, for free with your points. I'd love to know. Before we get out of here, I brought this good old Switch with me for the video. You guys, want to see what I got on my Switch recently? go through what's on my uh, Switch as of uh, February 2021. Before we go into what games I have, I should probably do this. Got some friend requests. Alright, so here we go. Here's what's on my Switch. Smash, obviously, been playing that always. We got Ghostbusters, which I'm still trying to defeat. <laughs> South Park, obviously the Super Nintendo. Angry Video Game Nerd 1 and 2 Deluxe. Um... I might actually do a video playing one of the levels. It's really tough as balls. Mario Kart 8, one of our favorite games at this moment. Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory demo. Not a huge fan. I didn't find it that great. I did Vanessa. Yoshi's Crafted World, we got the demo as well. That game was pretty fun. I mean, it's a game I would consider uh, getting if ever it goes down in price. Avicii and Vector demo, pretty fun game as well. WWE Battlegrounds, Tetris 99, which Vanessa is obsessed with. Of course, we got the original Nintendo system. One of my favorites at this moment is uh, Castlevania Collection. I love a huge fan of those games. 
We got Scott Pilgrim versus the World of Game. I cannot wait to start playing this game. Still playing Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. We got the demo for Monster Hunter Rise. Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. DC Super Villains. I had to remove it because of uh, space, but I'll probably re put it back on. Mega Man 11. Final Fantasy 7, the original. I only got the Namco uh, Museum for Vanessa so she can play Pac-Man. Here's one that we've been logging a lot of hours into is uh, Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Super Mario Maker 2 is a game that I constantly play as well. Super fun. I already completed Mario Odyssey. I love it very much. Xenoverse 2, it's, it's fun. I got it on sale. But, you know, I still prefer Fighters, which is right here. And uh, Haunted Halloween 86 is a fun, you know, 8-bit game. Shaq Fu, it's okay. Overlanders is fun as well. NBA 2K Playgrounds, I had to remove that because of all the, uh, again, for space, I, I just got a, a new, uh, I just got a brand new memory card, so I'll be uh, updating stuff soon. Slain Back from Hell, if you're a Castlevania fan, this is amazing. Again, also Friday the 13th. Bloodstained Curse of the Moon, another game if you're a fan of uh, Castlevania. SpongeBob SquarePants, Battle for Bikini Bottom. Super Mario Bros. 35, I think everybody got that one. The Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. Overwatch, I only took it out again because of the, all the space it was taking up. Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2, which is really fun. And Super Kirby Clash, which I downloaded for Vanessa. I am probably going to be adding uh, the Capcom Arcade. So that's going to be fun. So that's everything that's on my Nintendo Switch, guys. What did you uh, let me know about all the games on here that uh, if you've played any of the games? And um, what you guys are playing. Thank you so much for sticking around. Again, like I said, let me know what's on your Nintendo Switch. It's my really cool carrying case that you guys saw last, uh, when I did the uh, Switch unboxing. So, love this thing. You know, uh, again, w um, what you thought about the stuff I got from uh, my Nintendo account. Again, let me know what Switch games you're playing, which games from uh, Nintendo Direct you're super excited about. Um, like I said, <laughs> Mario, Mario Golf Super Rush and Knockout City, I think, are going to be two really awesome games. Pretty much it. I want to show you guys something really quickly. I got this. Had this for a while now. Would you like to see me build this on my channel? If you do, thumb up the video and, I'll, and, and I will literally put this together on my channel. That's pretty much it. And as always guys, it's cool if it's nerd cool. Laters!